Well, hello, friends. Beautiful rising. Good afternoon. And or a lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our daily chakra energy reading. And today is Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Yes, it is Wednesday, December 7th of 2022. And I have my moon energy book up here. So that means that it is also the full moon as well. So I didn't go through yet and find where we're supposed to be, but, um, I am going to look through and find it as we are talking. So today is the full moon in Gemini. So let's see, we're going to, since this is Sagittarius season, it is the opposite sign to the full moon and well to it's the opposite sign to what season it is so since it is Sagittarius season then okay there we go full moon in Gemini um since it is the full moon in Sagittarius, or since we are in Sagittarius season, then it is the full moon in Gemini. So there is this one. We will mark the page. Oh, let me pop this up here. So, and yeah, we will go through and read it December. So. There is the December full moon. So, let's read the December full moon. And it is spiritual elevation. So, yeah. Let me, oh yes. So, I was going to say, all of my readings are intended to be timeless. Meaning, whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear this message. So, if your guides have led you here your spirit, your ancestors, your higher self, the divine, or even if someone has shared this video with you and you decided to watch it, then there is a message here for you. So thank you for being here. Welcome. So yes, December is spiritual elevation and the December full moon represents healing. So let's read what it, what it has to say and then we will read the full moon in Gemini. So the December full moon is the last of the calendar year that is always a moment of symbolic closure. She lights our heavens throughout the dark nights and our inner lights should grow brighter to mirror her. This is the time to take care of others and of yourself to give and receive. This happens through the heart with love that is dedicated to healing. This moon encourages you to, ve to develop your own medicine and to know what and to know and recognize yourself. It is when you lose sight of this inner path and distance yourself from who you really are that the pit within you begins to open. Physical and psychological disease can slip into this space. Listen to your energetic body. You are responsible for your own health. So put into practice what is good and appropriate for you. The path of healing is complicated and requires you to learn to be grateful for what life has given you, even the difficult moments. Your fears, your chains, and your barriers are there to be lifted. They are challenges that allow you to evolve and develop your inner strength. I love, love, love that. So how are you feeling in regards to this December full moon? Are you feeling that energy come in? I swear I've been talking about like the energy of December coming in for the past few days if you've been watching the videos and yeah it definitely has that feeling to it. So Anahata Chakra is the heart chakra located in the center of the chest 
mediate with the mantra of the full of the December full moon while concentrating on the fourth chakra. Feel its green light grow brighter and spread throughout this area of your body. Mantra. I open my heart to love and forgiveness. I give and I receive. Intentions. I am becoming the, the creator of my own medicine. I walk in the direction of healing and reflect on the teachings of my past experiences. So, that is some of the messages for this December full moon. So, healing. How is everything that I just said they're corresponding to what you are experiencing within your own life, within your own experience, within your own heart chakra. So, yeah, there has been a lot of heart chakra energy coming out lately. So, let's read what the full moon in Gemini has to say. The right word. When the moon is in Gemini, she points she points towards your relationships with others. She reminds you that never, not everything is black or white, good or bad. Sometimes you speak too quickly, putting yourself in an uncomfortable situation, or are swept up by emotional tides that you cannot control. To make it through the storm, you will need clarity. And this requires that you take time to think about your rapport with the other. Gemini's represent two sides of the same soul, one side in the light, the other in the dark, in the darkness. They may also seem as a symbol of evolution, a pouring out of the self in order to move in the direction of the person facing us. Under this moon, you will have to grow in maturity and scratch to see what is hidden beneath your need to be present for others. Is it authentic? Is it measured? Are you multiplying your number of contacts for the right reasons? What are you looking for in the flow of words that have been pouring out of you for the past few days? The moon encourages you to find what is appropriate for you and the other person and to question yourself about how you communicate and share your values. You may find that some relationships seem to have lost their meaning, strength, or goodwill, or perhaps the exchange you thought was enriching was in fact simply sought out as a response to your need to be valued. This awareness may make you feel scattered because you are not sure how to rebalance these bonds. Before doing anything, you must recenter yourself, slow down, and take time for inner silence to Wait, take time for inner silence in order to return to a better form of communication and a more sincere radiance in your relationships. The decision to make sure to make you the decisions you make now will be the right ones because they are dedicated by a concern for honesty and no longer by the ego. Gemini Dream Circle Communication Dreams in this sign are linked to joy, the fear of living, or your ability to understand life. They may reveal a situation in which you are suffocating, lacking freedom, or in which your territory is being invaded. They also involve communication and exchange. Like Gemini, these dreams reflect the two facets of your personality and act as a mirror between your conscious, your unconscious and conscious selves by transferring messages that connect the two sides. So, that is another depth in which this full moon energy is bringing into us as well. So, it's perfect that this, that everything that is said here is exactly perfect for what we should be ending this year on is you know, thinking about our communication with others, thinking about our communication with ourselves. Are we genuine with others? Are we genuine with ourselves? Everything to that perfect manner. And to know that the December full moon is the healing full moon. So think of all of that will be going through healing. So 
everything is for our highest good. If you're willing to tune into the energies and see them and use them to your best advantage. So, yeah. So that is the message for this wonderful Wednesday, December 7th, full moon, Gemini full moon, December full moon. So that is, I hope that you all found something that you resonated with. And if you did, then please feel free to like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below if you so choose. So thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in to the channel. Once again, the book is Moon Energy, a practical guide to using lunar cycles to unleash your inner goddess. And it is by Stephanie LeFranc, illustrated by Vic O. So, yes, this is the book that I use for each of the full moons. So, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate each and every one of you. I will see you in the next one.